fuck? This has got to stop that happening to me. I'm paying bucks an hour to fuck my wife in my old bed. Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked the prick in my bed. <sighs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! Okay, homie? What happened? Guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. Tennis coach? Oh, that's fucked up, man. You risk dudes, homie. You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. Hey, we on! The fuck is he? Man, look, look, he's fuck weird, fun, fucking hippie cock! Fuck, oh, man, I think he lost his man. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. You see that little piece of shit? Okay, this is the turn. Hey! You know, one of these fucking out? Yeah, hey, keep your eye out. He left his car, check it out. Little prick's up there, look. Oh, shit, Coach's doing all right for himself. Hey! Asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, bud! You got the wrong idea, man! Hey, think the world owes him a living. There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I caught the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand! On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous! May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! See this shit, dog? Boom, give us some. Man, I think that shit's coming down, man. Yeah, he gonna feel this one, dog. Oh, fuck! But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. <laughs> now that's an expensive bitch-ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. Mr. DeSanta, what? the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone! You! 
Think about this. Wow. Shit. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. <laughs> Thanks. I guess. Hey, don't get the fence. Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. We'll do fine. Hey, shit. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. Got you knocked? You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Mentally? Oh, man. I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't fucked like that in years. Oh, yes! Fucking A, Bubba! Man, you sound kind of manly. You just been greenlit by the Mexican underworld ambassador to Los Santos. Trust me. We handled it. Whoever the fuck Martin Madrazo is, I've known worse. We just handled a few low-ranking clams. We sit on it, we see what happens. Kid, there's no use second-guessing. Felt good, man. Woo! Yeah. Doing something for a change. Ha! <laughs> man, you know what? You are wasted sitting by that fucking pool, man. You're right. I need to do something. Scotch and sunshine is sitting on my ass. Fuck that. I'm better than that. Damn skippy, homie. All that knowledge up there is withering and dying, dawg. You don't pass that shit on, it's gone, homie. I bet you know some shit. You wouldn't believe the shit I know. Yeah? You taking some scores? There was a time. That was all I did. Shit, well, you know, I could tell you some shit, too. Yeah, like what? About this city I was born and raised in. Now think about it. Yeah, do that, man. This could be cool. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. No, Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo. Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. Uh, uh, did you prove an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home 
down the hillside in Vinewood Hills. Uh, I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. Uh. Well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, though. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. It's nice to not be at work for once. Oh, uh, whatever. Buddy, what's up? What's going on? All cool? Whatever. When I say you suck, I mean you really suck. You better recognize, son. Yeah, you. Fuck off. Now. You know who you're talking to? Ah! Jesus, fuck! Mm -hmm. Disorientation.
Thank you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute! <sighs> I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. Then you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so... Why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye-find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this, uh... Fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something, just like the old days.
So you're gonna drive into me? Dickhead! Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye now. Yeah, what up? You good? It is what it is, you know? Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. What's shake? Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Ugh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bought up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I T temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. You really don't know your way outside of the IT dungeon? Come on. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Hi. Oh, hi. 
Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair, but if you're so... Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Might be why I get all these migraines. Seriously, it, it might be why. Hmm. Ugh, I need to write some product, Brohim. I'm feeling the itch. Give me a second, will ya? And we scan. Scanning. You want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <laughs> Almost cracked it. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. When we go mobile, we'll be able to open and we will know everything. That's so cool. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Bye. Oh, uh, next. Someone. Creative Spiderman. That's a meme right there. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow. Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. How's your air guitar? Oh, uh... Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive-aggressive note on it! Let me get the door for you. The thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes. None of which interest me. Hey. I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, ah, whatever he's... Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk.
Out. No! I'm watching Famer Shame! Stop fucking tits! No! Shut up! You guys are going to the final. Mine's on fire. Woo! What a talent. I've never seen someone set fire to their crop. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. At around this point in my presentation, there was meant to be a call for my product team to introduce the device. But we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I hate to keep you waiting any longer, but trust me, it's worth it. And don't worry, I will fire several people for this. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination! We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 20... Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me.
Hello? Hello? Oh! Get security! Ah! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... no, 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 no. Whoa! Lester, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know, the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look.